Hello everyone, welcome back to Cyber New. As you may have heard, Apple had its Apple event earlier this week and announced four new iPhones. Those iPhones being the iPhone mini, iPhone 12, iPhone 12 Pro, and the iPhone 12 Pro Max, which has the most innovative features so far. The screen sizes vary from 5.1 inches to a whopping 6.7 inches. The 12 mini has a 5.0 inch screen, while the 12 and 12 Pro have a 6.1 inch screen, and the 12 Pro Max has a 6.7 inch screen. They made a point to increase the interchangeable screen size while reducing the unnecessary border on the edges and the weight of the iPhone. This also leads to our next point. Apple is attempting to completely reduce its carbon footprint to zero by 2030, and with that, they are removing the charger and headphones for iPhone 12. It will come with a USB-C charging cable with no wall mount. The reason for that is that there are already billions of chargers out there and are completely unneeded. And by taking out the plug, they are also able to reduce the carbon footprint with a lighter and smaller iPhone box. Now let's dive deep into some technicals. The camera. The camera called Telephoto now has a ultra wide and wide setting with a 120 degree field of view. They have a night mode, which allows amazing pictures to be taken in the dark and to take up videos up to 60 FPS for pro. They have made both the front facing camera and rear camera to be able to have night mode and portrait mode. The rear camera has an addition of 4K HD video recording with slow motion at 180p at 120fps. Some technical features added is the sensor shift, which stabilizes the sensors within the camera rather than the device itself, allowing for smoother photography, which is going to help in recording in the car or on the move while you're walking. LiDAR, which is a sensor that can measure distances in space with light. This will allow for a better quality photo as well as more augmented reality functionality. Really excited for LiDAR because this will open doors for AR development in apps such as games, utilities, and more. There's also a new addition called MagSafe, which is essentially a magnetic circle at the back of an iPhone, which allows for accessories to latch on quickly and easily, such as charging cables and other accessories such as wallets and iPhone cases. The new iPhone 12 processor, A14, scored a rating of 1583 on the single core test, which is around 18% improvement from the A13, which was a 1327 rating. This score is on a baseline of 1000, with 1000 being compared to the Intel i3 processor for computers. So you can say the A14 is 50% faster than a computer with an i3 processor. To get more into technical numbers, the A14 can perform 11.8 trillion operations, while the A13 can do 8.4 trillion operations. But that's not the catch. The A14 was able to be reduced in size to 5 nanometers, while the A13 is still 7 nanometers. Improving performance and reducing size is a huge breakthrough. Finally, let's talk about price. The iPhone 12 mini is going to be $699, while the iPhone 12 is at $799, and the Pro and Pro Max are $999 and $1099 respectively, keeping it around the same price range as last year with some significant improvements. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below which iPhone you're planning on buying, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much.